Well, hello and welcome back to another live show here on Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, coming to you from Moorhead City, North Carolina. Excited to announce as of last week, we have just passed 200,000 downloads and listens. Thanks to you. Our audience has been tuning in ever since we launched the show. And here on Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor, we talk about everything that relates to real estate investing from single family houses to commercial deals, to multifamily deals, to small apartments, to land, to self storage. And of course, we also talk about how to get funding for your deals, because uh, if you're staying in a deal and you want to make the most profit, of course, you got to have the funding. So I'm known as the private money authority. And if you're just now tuning into the show for the first time, the reason I'm known as the private money authority is because from 2003 to 2009, I was relying on local banks and mortgage companies and hard money lenders to provide funding for my deals. And in January, 2009, I got cut off with no notice like the rest of the world. And I was introduced to this wonderful world of private money, not hard money, but private money, actually getting funding from individuals. And since that time in February of 2009, I haven't missed out on a deal for not having the funding. It's got nothing to do with your experience, your local mortgage broker, your banker, your credit score. It's got nothing to do with that. So if you would like to get more funding for your deals, whether you're a brand new real estate investor or a seasoned real estate investor, I've got a free training waiting for you to go check out after we finish the show. So you can hurry right on over there and learn about this funding, unlike any other type of funding. And here's the URL. It's www.jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R dot com forward slash money podcast. Yes, that's free training. I'm going to show you the five easy and quick steps to get funding for your deals at jayconner, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R dot com forward slash money podcast. And if you like what you see in here on the show, be sure to subscribe, rate, review, uh, so you don't miss out uh, on any of our future shows and become part of our family. Well, also, if you've been tuning into the show, and by the way, uh, you may be watching here on our podcast, Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. And if you're on YouTube or Facebook, we are live streaming right now. And so if you're tuning into with us from Facebook or YouTube on the live stream, you'll notice in the comment section right here below, you can post your questions, comments, we'll get all of your questions answered. And as I was getting ready to say, uh, one big part of the success of this show has been the amazing guests than experts that I have here on the show. And today is no exception. I'm so excited today to have my good friend and colleague and fellow mastermind member, Fuquan Balal is on the show with us today. He's the CEO and founder of NNG. He started it back in 2012. And what Fuquan has become an expert in is locating and uncovering the opportunities in investing that can be totally passive in his world of underperforming assets, i.e. underperforming notes. So Fuquan has become a uh, specialist in this area of real estate investing, and he teaches and trains people on how to do it yourself. Or if you want to be totally passive and just sit back and receive high rates of return that are safe and secure, you can uh, also learn here on the show as to how you can be a passive investor and just have it done for you. Well, as I said, he founded this company back in 2012 and his principal mission is uh, on capitalizing on how to take advantage of mortgage notes, uh, as I said, that are underperforming. So he's been 19 years in the business as of this show and he's become an expert in this area. And so I twisted Fuquan's arm to get him here on the show and make time out of his schedule 
And you'll be sure and want to stay on to the end of the show. We'll be going, uh, this show lasts for about 20 minutes. You'll want to be able to stay on to the end of the show because Fuquan has just recently published and released his brand new book that will even let you tap into more of his secrets. And he's going to let you know and, and plug you in here at the end of the show as to how you can get a free copy of his brand new book. So with that, Fuquan, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you for having me. It's a great introduction. I appreciate it. I'm looking around the room like, who is he talking about? I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to have you on, Fuquan. And, uh, you know, I move into some uh, pretty high-end circles of folks that are in this world of real estate investing and everything that relates to it. But I don't have too many folks that are specializing in your niche and your specialty. So first of all, Fuquan, tell everybody where you are uh, residing these days and where are you broadcasting from? Awesome. We're in a lovely town of New Jersey during, uh, during the, uh, the best season of the world, winter. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, my office is about 20 minutes away from New York City. Today, I'm chatting to you from my home office. My little man is down under the weather. So just staying home doing my, uh, my daddy deeds. I got you. I got you. So by the way, folks, again, if you're tuning in to us live on the Facebook live stream or one of our YouTube channels in the comment bar below, say hello to, to us. I love to hear where you're from. Say hello, your first name, your city and state and where you're from. And uh, as we're talking along here with Fuquan, be sure and uh, give us questions and we'll get Fuquan to answer your questions on what this world of underperforming notes and assets is all about. First of all, Fu Quan, how about tell everybody how it is that you're qualified to talk on this subject? Well, as you stated earlier, I've been in the, in the real estate business. It's actually 20 years. So just now, 20, uh, 20 has made 20 years. I came into the business pretty much last quarter of 99 and jumped out the window and grew wings flying down. Uh, quit my corporate job and started to do fix and flips. And had the opportunity to ride the market uh, when it was uh, easier for people to get loans. And then it was a transition market. So I am market cycle tested. And during that transition, I discovered, uh, along with short sales, other ways to uh, get assets from the bank. Uh, it was, uh, you know, still a lot of people don't understand how they can actually buy mortgages or no mortgage notes from the bank. So once I learned that, I started to create those relationships and started to buy these assets. Uh, the banks were uh, foreclosing on many properties, getting bad press. Then they started to sell the notes uh, to note investors like myself. And we were able to communicate with these uh, these debtors, homeowners, get them restructured, modify the loan, let them remain the owner of the property. And we were able to collect passive um, mortgage payments, income from that. So when I learned that, I was like, wow, this is like, you know, the best investment strategy in the universe to me because it was a way for me to do business from my laptop, cell phone. I didn't have to deal with the tenants, toilets, trash, and termites, as they say. Um, so this was uh, this was a blessing for me to discover this world of mortgage notes. So since then, we've actually, I put up my own capital, of course, um, to uh, build some case studies and really to learn a business and build processes. I mean, then after that was successfully done, we opened up a fund to partner with investors to be able to go directly to the bank negotiate trades and take down pools of these assets. Uh, and through that process, we you need three things to be successful in a business. We discover, of course, the uh, the vendor to body assets, fund the capital to body assets and scalability. Uh, you know, if how do you manage a thousand, two thousand, five thousand loans effectively and get all the processes in place and have the right vendors and um, success team to help you with that. So uh, we've worked through, you know, thousands of notes. We've saved a lot of homeowners from foreclosure. Uh, you do have situations where you have some unresponsive uh, debtors and you have to turn it from a note play to a real estate play by um, pursuing foreclosure, uh, pursuing foreclosure and securing your, your investment. And then it just becomes a, a real a real property situation where you can find local boots on the ground to create another short term interest only loan to them and turn that. A real property back into a note so it stay passive for you or if there's opportunities where you can do some light rehab and put it on the market and sell it for retail you can benefit from that as well just learning you know how to mitigate the risk and you know 
finding the trusted buyer sources is key. So that answers your question. Yeah, Christine from Conway, Arkansas, tunes in with us. So hello, Christine. If you have any questions or comments for Fuquan, be sure and just type those in the comment bar. And everybody else is just now tuning in with us. Uh, this is Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. My special guest today, Fuquan Bilal, who specializes in hidden assets, how to locate and capitalize on non-performing real estate assets, uh, some of which are specifically notes. So if you have any questions uh, on this topic for Fuquan, be sure and just type those in the bar. We're live streaming to Facebook, live streaming on two YouTube channels, and we also have the podcast going on here, Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. One thing you just said, Fuquan, uh, that was interesting is that when you started out in this uh, business of um, underperforming assets, it sounded like you went straight to, when you started out, you went straight to the bank to negotiate with them. And, you know, from what I've heard in the industry, that's very hard to break into even being able to talk directly with mortgage companies and banks. How did you do that? Well, through short sales, I was actually, uh, I had a, a loss mitigation company doing short sales. And one of the uh, negotiators that we were speaking with had asked if he wanted to buy the note. And we're like, we had no idea what he was talking about. We understood that the bank goes through, the loans go through a phase in the bank. Uh, so they have a phase where they kind of sell the paper. They don't want to foreclose on it. Maybe the area where the note is at is not worth it for them to spend $25,000 in legal fees and foreclosure and everything else. So they would just book charge the debt and, and, and tap into the TARP fund that was created for them when they write off debt. Um, and they started to, they wanted to sell these assets. So instead of, they have, can do a short sell, they can sell the paper. There's different phases of buckets that these loans go into at a given time with the bank. Uh, because of Basel requirements, they have to keep a certain amount of liquidity on books for loans that are delinquent. So if they have, you know, a million dollars in delinquent assets, they have to have $10 million of liquidity. So the banks want to liquidate this stuff. Uh, and at the time, the short sale negotiator had mentioned it to me and I never knew what it was about. So I did some investigating and then said, hey, what if we buy do more than just one? Did you have more? And, you know, I sought out the people to help me put together, um, you know, the financing to kind of finish off the uh, the purchase. I put up a lot of my own capital. And, you know, once we were able to get maybe one or two going in the, in the, in the beginning, I was able to buy eight more, build out the processes. And I pretty much did everything from my laptop cell phone. From that time, I discovered, okay, now where do I find more uh, resources this way? And there's a bunch of events that are uh, four or five times a year. You have the National Servicing Conferences. You have another one, IMN. Uh, where the the bankers meet up and uh, the people who sell any assets from these individual funds or banks attend. And they talk about regulation. They talk about uh, the servicing process and they have high end services there talking about, uh, you know, new laws that would pass and, and things that have to put in place. So attending those events and being in those circles, you kind of connect with the right people who can, you know, give you assets to review and buy and take down. Now they put this stuff out for a public bid. So there's a few people who are aware of what's happening um, behind the scenes and they have connections and they become a part of that bid. You have to be vetted. Uh, you have to have service and license and a lot of stuff in place, um, you know, in order to do business with these banks. And you have to be able to do quarterly volume with them. You have to be able to take down pools. Uh, they're not onesie twosie. Usually uh, if we're buying uh, second mortgages, you know, we can trade, buy that stuff. Uh, below 20 cents on a dollar and first mortgages are trading in the high 60, 70 cents on a dollar in certain areas, you know, they're trading for a little bit more because uh, non-judicial states has more value. But if they see that you can definitely continue to do business with them, you know, the door is open. Every time they have a trade, they'll make you aware of it. And once you go through the vetting processes, you and the door that create a world of opportunities. Uh, we've been able to benefit um, here in New Jersey where we are by having the connections to get some of the REOs, the stuff before it actually goes to the mortgage brokers, the local mortgage brokers, uh, maybe they might have a pool of properties, you know, 10 to 15 they may want to sell or have you look at and give you a chance to cherry pick. So we've been blessed with that opportunity as well. That's excellent, Fubon. So listeners and viewers, if you're just now tuning in with us, my special guest today is Fuquan Balau. 
and he is the CEO of NNG, which specializes in finding these um, hard to find investment opportunities, which leverages non-performing notes and assets. And uh, Fu Quan has, um, has teaching and training and teach you how to do it yourself, or you can just sit back and be passive and uh, collect high rates of return with his company doing it for you. So we just uh, got a shout out Fu Quan from Art, all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, <laughs> so how say you, Art? Art there, Fu Quan. All right, all right. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. We, um, he said, how do I get started? This is a question I see from him. So we actually uh, have, a, we did a couple of masterminds that we did because there were some people who wanted to be actively involved. Um, there were some people who wanted to learn how to do it themselves. Maybe they had some money uh, put aside that they wanted to put to work and they didn't want to deal with the, the real estate and they, they wanted to do something that was a little bit more active from their laptop, cell phone, but still some active, active role in that. Uh, we did about four mastermind sessions, and what we did was we actually uh, recorded all the sessions, and then we condensed it into, I believe it was like 20 or 30 hours or something, just the the, uh, the best of the best uh, that we did. And we actually have that out. Um, when we would sell loans, we would give that to people so they have like uh, people who were new in the business, uh, an accountability tool to kind of review to keep them on track if they were actively involved. We actually uh, we're doing something as well in New Jersey, April 25th and 26th, a two day event where we go through the process. And this is something it's a lot of work. It's worth it. If you have the time, if you are not a busy professional and you want to do it, you can uh, make some good yield buying non performing notes. But I would definitely tell people starting off to look at something performing first that have cash flow. You're going to pay a little bit more. Uh, but most investors that get into the space really want to learn the ins and outs. They're going to be active. So they will, you know, I usually tell them to buy something performing, get that mailbox money in and reverse engineer the process. So if it goes non-performing, you know what to do. And then once you have a couple of performers, you can buy some non-performers that get started. Um, but, at, you know, towards the towards the later on in the show, I'll give some information, more information where you can learn, you know, how to do it yourself. Oh, that's great. So for those of y'all who are wondering how you can... Uh, learn from um, Fu Quan. Be sure and stay on to the end of the show, which is only going to be about 11 more minutes before you have his, his uh, in fact, we've been putting up on the video, uh, his conduct information. Uh, another thing, uh, Fu Quan, you got a brand new book that you've just published and released. Uh, how about show everybody a copy of what the book looks like and we'll let everybody know how to get a copy of it here in about 10 minutes. Awesome. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate it. So passion, for real estate investments. So and you can go to PFREI, that's PFREI.co, that's Passion for Real Estate Investments. This just talks about my journey uh, when I got started in the business of different types of investments that I've discovered, uh, whether it's passive or active, and kind of tell my, my backstory and uh, what I'm actually doing now, which is a hybrid model of uh, buying notes. And also we are in the local community in our area here in New Jersey and some of the towns buying tax liens and buying these properties at a discount, uh, vacant properties, we're putting them back on a tax roll, creating better living standards for people in the community. So we're doing some real property stuff local to us as well. As well. And I talk about some of that stuff in this book. So you guys get a free copy, right? You say, I want the free book. Whoever leaves a message and see this and say, I want the free book, we'll get you a link to get a free copy um, of the book that I just released. And it's actually on Amazon too, if you guys want to check it out. Well, I tell you what, since we're talking about the book, uh, let's don't let's don't let them wait till the end of the show. Let's go ahead and put up here on the uh, on the uh, show. What's the URL uh, that they can uh, get that free book, uh, Fuquan? OK, Would I just put it in the chat. Uh, actually, our producer, uh, Scott, will put it up after you say it. OK, so you can go to uh, it's a tiny URL, actually. Um, in a second. It's a P, a passion, the number four, R-E-I. So www.passion, the numeral four, R-E-I.com? -E yes. Perfect. I'm going to write that down right here. We'll put it up on the video for those that are. Uh, now, we've got up here on the screen just the initial P. Is it the initial P or do we spell out passion? No, it's passion. P -A -S 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 -S
There we go. So www.passion, the numeral four, rei.com. Perfect. So uh, here we got Christine saying, I want a free book. Bart wants a free book. Uh, Art wants a free copy. Everybody wants a free copy. By the way, folks, if you're just tuning in with us here on the show, on the live stream, either Facebook or YouTube, uh, say hello to us in the comment section. Give us your name, what city and state you're from. And uh, Fuquan will get your questions answered. So here I got a question for you, Fuquan. Let me put you on the spot. So since 2003, I've been investing in single family houses. Uh, I've rehabbed about 400 of these babies. And how about give uh, myself, hey, Michael, Michael Joyner just joined us. Michael says hello and thank you, Fuquan. Michael, welcome to the show. Um, tell us what are the benefits and the advantages to investing in um, either these notes or non-performing assets as opposed to houses and apartments and self-storage units that you're actually investing in the asset itself versus the note that's behind it? Yeah, so it depends on uh, if you're a busy professional and, and you want to do something that's laptop cell phone based. I mean, for me, coming from a world of flipping houses to start learning how to invest in notes, it was just a little bit more passive for me, meaning that it was passive and I had a small active role just managing processes and managing vendors versus actually being out in the field, uh, boots on the ground at that time, running around, scouring the neighborhood for deals and trying to put stuff together and manage contractors. I just felt that I can manage more notes than actually more real property. Uh, and I learned it and was able to, at the same time, help homeowners uh, share the discount that I got from the bank, give them a reprieve. Uh, it felt good doing that. And you know, I just fell in love with the business. So for me, it was a, a way to kind of pivot to still doing something that was real estate based, but just a little bit more laptop cell phone. Uh, at the time, you know, I was raising two boys and basically I still am today. Uh, you know, it was better for me to be home and, and and be able to work from a laptop, cell phone, and do stuff. So I built the business out and and learned it. So it's it's just what your preference is. Uh, I, today I do both. I do real property and notes. Uh, in 2015, you know, I realized that the pricing of notes were going up. There were a lot of people getting involved, and I had these resources at these banks and and servicing companies that had uh, assets for me, real property, local in my area. So I started to um, do some of that as well. Uh, and today, that's what I fun pretty much focus on is a diversified model. Uh, we purchase notes and we get real estate at discounts uh, via the tax liens and or uh, off market property opportunities. Perfect. OK, folks, if you're just now tuning in with us, my guest today mm -hmm. here on the live streams on Facebook and YouTube is Fuquan Belal. Uh, also here on my podcast show, Real Estate Investing with Jay Connor. And Fuquan has just released and published his new book titled Passion for Real Estate Investing. And uh, if you want a free copy, everybody right now, put in the comment bar below the video right now, I want the book. I want the free <laughs> book. If you want the free book, put in the comment section right now, I want the free book. And after you do that, get right on over to the website, www. And give it out one more time. There it is, www.passion, P A S S I O N, the numeral four, R E I dot com. So everybody's wanting the book there, Fuquan, Art, and Bart, and Christine, and Michael. And we have Siobhan, if I'm saying that right, from the YouTube channel. So um, that's great. So, and so the question you just answered for me, if I understood to sort of summarize your answer, what's the benefit of investing in these non-performing assets? Um, it sounds like there's not as many moving parts to investing in the notes, whether they're performing or non-performing, as there is finding a motivated seller of a, a house or property or commercial piece, fixing it up overseeing the uh, renovations, uh, getting it on the market, getting it sold, uh, et cetera. And that it seems like it's just more of perhaps of a easier, simpler, more 
mobile process that doesn't take as much time? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, once the processes are built out, everything just becomes systematical. So you have vendors that you can leverage and power team, which consists of your realtor, your attorney, uh, your uh, uh, private investigator. You have all these people who uh, the asset manager who's managing your file, if it's not performing, kind of keep uh, the, the file moving along to the foreclosure process. And then that's when you have a negotiation. Uh, so there's only two things that can happen during that process. Even you take the house or you work something out where it modifies, you start receiving payment. So all that's done through, uh, you know, a spot, a single point of contact. And that's what makes it a little bit hands off for you. Um, you just have to learn uh, pricing, analyzing due diligence. And again, this is if you're being active. Uh, if you are passive, you can buy something that already has cash flow, something that's performing. But if it goes not performing, then it becomes active for you again. So we strategically partner up with uh, capital partners to take down trades of pools of these uh, non-performing assets. Or sometimes you have sub-performing. Maybe they're making 10 out of 12 payments or 9 out of 12 payments and you get in and renegotiate something to get it back on track performing uh, with a good pay history. So just being creative. Excellent. Uh, a note over to our producer, Scott. Uh, Scott, we got a comment from one of our uh, audience members saying that the site is not working. So, Scott, if you wouldn't mind, take a second, check out the site while we're here on the show. And uh, if it's if we got some difficulties on that end, we'll make sure that, or I'm sure Fuquan will make sure the site is working. So, uh, Fuquan, what was, and Scott, while you're simultaneously pushing all the buttons, Let's put um, Fu Quan's contact URL up there uh, so everybody will have at least a way to contact. Uh, oh, yeah. Quan. And uh, what's that website? One more time. Uh, your your main. Um, oh, I've got it right here. Is it NNGCapitalFund.com? Yeah. NNGCapitalFund.com. And if you guys have any uh, challenges with getting a free book, you can just send me an email there saying, hey, I want the free book. I'll make sure you get it. We'll take care of that for you. If this, Excellent. If so that's a, so as a backup, uh, anybody, uh, Bart or anybody, if you're having uh, difficulties with that website that we gave out, just go to www.nn, that's Nancy, Nancy, G, capital fund.com. Uh, Fuquan, um, interesting, interesting um, world that you here are a part of. Uh, parting comments, uh, Fuquan, as we wrap up this show. Yeah, I, I think that going into, um, you know, the next decade as real estate investors, we all should be focused on having a diversity model. And we actually just trademark uh, diversified hybrid real estate investing. And what we're doing is some people out there who invest in real property, some people invest in paper, some people lend private money and do real estate. So just having that diverse strategy in your portfolio would definitely bring a blend of some good healthy returns and will uh, create as a buffer a hedge against whatever is to come. So I just would uh, basically say every all the investors should focus on having that diversity in their portfolio, whether they're passive or active. Uh, those are the parting words that I have. Appreciate you having Ron, me on the show. Um, those are wise words because um, my mentor and friend, Dan Kennedy, I learned from him years ago, the most dangerous number in any business is the number one one realtor, one real estate attorney, and one strategy in your uh, portfolio. Um, let's see here. Okay, so Scott uh, is giving us a little heads up there on the URL. So one more time, folks, for getting in touch with um, Fuquan, Website. His website that you can reach out to him, send him a um, send him a um, an email wanting a copy of his free book is www.n is in Nancy, n is in Nancy, g capital fund .com. And just one last second, Scott, before we leave, if you can put up all the um, comments, or I think I got them over here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wow. Look at here, Fuquan. You have got a you have got a young, aggressive uh, real estate investor here in Kenston, North Carolina. His name is Michael, and he is tuning in. He's only, he's like, oh, wow. I said 20 years. I said young. He's been a contractor <laughs> for 20 years. Read that wrong. And he's been flipping for two years. Well, let me tell you something, Michael. 
I think you might be signed up. I'm not sure. But Michael, you need to get to my, you're in Kinston, North Carolina, Michael. You need to be to my upcoming live event that's only two weeks from right now. But um, for those of you that are watching live, yes, my live event is two weeks from right now, um, which, in fact, Scott, my producer, just put it up. If you all want to get rocking and rolling on real estate investing and you want more funding for your deals, it's February 26th, 27th, and 28th. For those of you that are tuning in on the podcast, sorry, you got the message too late. But for those of you that are here on the live stream, Facebook and YouTube, you can take advantage of it. You get to come for free at www.jayconner.com forward slash live event. That's Jay Connor with an E-R, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash live event. And yes, Michael, you want to be at this event. Fuquan, thank you so much again, my friend, for your time and for the awesome information that you gave out. Yes, Bart Guy, I will see you live at the upcoming event. Fuquan, I appreciate you. Hey, look, are you at the next Mastermind meeting? Of course. Can't miss awesome, it. Awesome, man. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, look, I appreciate you more than you know, Fuquan. Thank you so much. My heart and my hat's off to you, my friend. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you. All right, everybody. It's you, our audience, that makes this show. Thank you for tuning in. For all of you that have been here on the live stream, be sure and share and pass on the love. Share this show and this link on to your friends and connections on Facebook and YouTube so they can take advantage as well. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. And here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next level. And we'll see you on the next show. Bye for now.